Hi, welcome to Red Pixel Live. My name's Adam Hanlon. I'm the editor of Wet Pixel, and we'd like to thank Inon for sponsoring this episode, or across the channel, across the other side of the Atlantic, called Inon. Inon do a wide range of strobes, accessory lenses, and accessories. Please check them out at www.inon.jp. Um, I'm joined today by my friend and fellow presenter, Alex Mustard. Good morning, Alex. How are you? Very, very nice to see you. I see you too. How are you? Um, very good. But I, I guess more importantly, how are you doing? Yeah, no, I'm all right. And I think um, Alex is alluding to the fact that I've had a bit of a health scare um, over the past few weeks. Um, I was preparing to dive at my local dive site um, and I had a heart attack, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Um, I, I was aware that I was I was um, getting ill and I was very, very fortunate in that the team, I had a team of dive masters. I was, I was preparing for a training dive team of dive masters with me um, and they got me on oxygen very, very quickly. Um, and then they called an ambulance and, and, and say that the, the British National Health Service really shone. You know, they were amazing. The ambulance was there very quickly and I was straight into hospital um, and they put a stent in me. Um, and um, so theoretically, I'm I'm better than I was before. So um, bionic underwater. It's <laughs> a frightening thought. I'm not sure I'd be a better underwater photographer, but but theoretically. Um, however, obviously, it does mean there's a bit of a recovery period, and and some people quite rightly have been probably commenting on the fact that my my response to emails and to communications is probably somewhat delayed um, i'm easing myself back into work i do have a backlog so please be patient i will i will get there but <laughs> it's also but, important for you adam to remember that you know time and rest are important in any recovery from any illness and yeah. thinking that you can just jump straight back in at 100 percent, even if you feel completely fine and as, as you look um you know completely fine and sound fine yeah. you know do give yourself time don't feel the pressure of the world yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's uh, it, it is a uh, it, it's a bit of a strange procedure, a bit of a strange process because I'm not used to strictly relaxing, you know, sort of not doing anything, um, and I've been forced to somewhat, um, and and will continue to be forced to. Um, but I, I, I must say again, just to stress, you know, the the guys um, at the dive site, my dive ministers and the the team have have managed to ensure that it's very interesting when um, before I was discharged from hospital, the um, they did a. Uh, echoes uh, ultrasound sorry on um on my heart and and they they typically expect about 30 percent reduction in 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 capacity um, and thanks to the prompt action of, of the guys i have less than 10 percent. so so the prognosis is very good you know that, that there's no doubt that i'm going to recover from this and i'm going to be back but it is a there is a time involved in in getting making that happen and yeah thank you Alex. i'm, I'm trying to take it easy although i don't find it very i don't find it very easy taking it easy so yeah no, I, I know that's why i'm telling you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i shouldn't be doing wet pixel lives with you but i thought if i could distract you by having a chat with me it would stop you yeah, working a, too hard it's a very welcome distraction thank mm. you alex yeah, yeah. Um, um i, I mean I, I don't know i mean it's your medical situation i don't know um what you um do you do you fit, know what kind of brought it on in terms of what you were doing in that moment or you weren't actually doing anything unusual no nothing unusual i was literally putting my i was putting my dry suit on but i mean i think it had been coming for a few days and i put it down to i mean i had felt a little bit grim and and with 2020 hindsight i think um those of you who don't know me but well those of you who know me is i normally run quite a fair bit and i, I wasn't um, I've been finding it not hard to run, but I've been finding that I couldn't run as as, as efficiently as I could normally, um, and um, and then I you know I felt like I had indigestion, and you know I know a lot of people, and obviously symptoms vary from person to person, but people say you know it feels like a crushing pain. Also, I didn't have any of that. I felt like bad indigestion, and and I, and I put it down as that. I didn't really think about it until until I kind of collapsed, and then it wasn't indigestion anymore. Um, but um, the the the, the the sort of prognosis really is um, I, I'm I'm able to travel again now, but what what we are in the somewhat in the realm of is still trying to find out what the situation is regarding diving, um, and um, that will be I'm, I'm in touch with diving doctors and, and in fact you know, diving cardiologists, um, and, you know so they will be the people that will determine it. But but rest assured I'm I'm pushing as hard as possible to get myself underwater as soon as I can. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm pleased to hear that, but also I would repeat what I was saying before, Adam. You know, this was only weeks ago. Yeah. Um, and, you know, 
I, and I know, you know, you've come out and it was dealt with very well and you're probably in a better place than you were before and you were diving before. And I understand all that, but do, do give yourself the time you need, yep, yep. A, you know, because obviously we don't want anything, anything to happen to you. No, well, I'm particularly, I think, I think, you know, the, the good news is literally 15 minutes later, I'd have been underwater. And I think that would have been a, a sig much more significantly serious potential event than, than it was, you know, the fact that it happened at the surface um, and, and, you know, just and surrounded by and surra well trained. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty yeah. of bit oxygen of, around. Bit of a dose of luck. Yeah, absolutely. And they, they had me on oxygen within seconds. So, so Graham and Rich, the, the sea dive masters really, really got, got me, got me parceled up in a way as, as, Incredibly efficiently. So, um, obviously, uh, we have uh, most of you who watch this will be aware that WetPixel runs trips. Um, and the trips, obviously, um, we have a trip to Rajaram Pat next month. Um, and um, I, the short answer is at the moment, I don't actually know what the solution will be beyond the fact that I know the trip is going forward. Um, whether I'll be able to attend it, whether I'll attend it, or whether I'll get someone else to attend it, that's at the moment still unsure. And I'm waiting on a on a, on information from the medics um, to find out what the situation will be. So, so the short answer at this point, I don't know, but it's definitely all going ahead. All other trips, to be honest, the next trip I have after that is is our trip together next March, and I really, really can't see there being an issue with that. I'm 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 very very positive that, that won't be an issue. And and again, you know, if worst comes to worst, you're still going to be there, which is probably the most important bit. Um, but um, but obviously we you know we can we can uh, I'll find I'll find a stand in, but I I don't anticipate that being an issue. So yeah. Well, actually, I remember I actually remember years ago running a, a workshop for an underwater photographer who'd had a heart attack actually. Well, wow. and and I I was his stand-in to run the workshop, um, which that was a yeah, long long time ago. But you no, know, so it's um, and, and I know the Roger Ampat trip is a non-teaching trip, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that kind of you know Roger Ampat is still there. <laughs> I'd be desperate to go to Roger Ampat if I was on that trip. So yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's great to know that you know obviously everything can go ahead. You know, whatever you do. I mean, I have to say though, of all the destinations, if you had to do a trip but as a non-diver. Yeah. Um, depending on you know how things were progressing with the with the medical side, um, Raja Ampat would be a fantastic destination. Snort as a snorkel. I know um, Alex Lindblom, who's a you know well-known underwater photographer. He kind of specialises in running snorkeling trips, and yeah. Raja Ampat is one of their favourite destinations. And I have to say that I think you know um, a, a week there not being able to dive. And I've, I've had it a few times on my trips where people have had medical issues and have maybe had to miss diving for a few months but have still been booked on trips yep. and on some trips people have come along and you know been restricted to snorkeling yep. and really enjoyed it photographically you know aware that they can't get the normal range of pictures they would normally get but yep. actually go home with pictures that they wouldn't have got had they been scuba diving yeah yeah um, yep. so i think it's you know it's not you know so i mean you know, Raja Ampat is, of course, a remote destination. It's not a place you want to go to with any underlying health um, concerns. Um, but the flip side is I do think even if you weren't able to dive but felt totally happy about traveling, I think you get a lot out of a trip like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, it's basically in the hands of the medics, really, and we'll see what they say. And medics and insurance, I suppose that's the other side. You know, it, it, would, be, it would be foolish to go somewhere without, linked, without, yeah, without being covered by insurance. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so the short answer is um, watch the space. Um, we'll obviously see the people on the trip. Uh, again, apologies for those of you who've emailed me and, and I haven't got back to you as promptly as I would normally. Um, it's um, it's it will all happen, but I do have a backlog and I need to catch up on that. Um, and otherwise, you know, it's 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 everything is normal. We'll keep going, and um, and you know, I'm sure that I'll be back in in, in full force relatively soon. All albeit given that I do have to take it a little bit easier than normal. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. Remember how important the you know giving yourself time for that recovery is. Yeah, so wonderful. So um, thank you, Alex. Um, and it's wonderful to see you, and it's wonderful it's distraction. Really good to see you looking yeah. normal. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, that's not sure that's good. The first thing. time I've seen you, obviously. Since. It is, yeah, 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 yeah. And I had a shave and everything, so there you go. So anyway, right. Uh, wonderful to see you, Alex. Um, and um, again, to thank Inon very much for sponsoring this episode. Our sponsor support is obviously very important. Um, thank you to you all for watching. Please feel free to drop any comments. Um, or, or suggestions, um, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.